What's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. And I'm still James. All right. Um, welcome to the podcast. We got some got some movie news. Um, so we're going to we try and do this once a week. Uh, talk about, um, you know, new exciting things we going on in Hollywood and the news that we're getting about these movies. Uh, some of them uh, you really probably going to be interested in. Some of you like, okay, take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, uh, starting off, we got um, a movie that I'm sure you uh, pretty much, I'm sure you love. Um, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Expendables 4. <laughs> Uh, and apparently, it's gonna be from old folks' home. No. <laughs> Man, it fans many new. Oh, oh shit! I thought I cut that off. Okay, yeah. Uh, Spendables four, man. Um, yeah, your boy, uh, your boy Stallone got another Expendables, man. And it's like this, dude. It's like this. Wasn't the whole point of the third one that they was finally? No, let's go to the first one. Oh, okay. The first one was just. A last hurrah mm -hmm. for all the action heroes from yeah. the the heydays of action movies, probably from the eighties right, and nineties, right. which was so cool. That was a cool thing to do. Got to see all your favorites. One last ride, not four last rides. <laughs> like, so the first one is like, hey, look, we we all we we all love doing this stuff, and we'd all like to do it at least one more time. Let's let's every, get. Get everybody together, put them all in one movie. We could. Cool. Right, right. S second movie. Well, look, we didn't get so and so, so and so, and so and so. So let's get them in here and we can do that. Oh, yeah. I'll stop it there. So cool. <laughs> right. Third movie. Why don't we hand this stuff off to the kids? Yeah. And, right. You know, because. And they didn't pick like no new stars. They got like people that, okay, they had Ronda Rousey and <laughs> some, they had some people I don't even know. Then they, uh, had, a, they had a boxer in there. Yeah, uh, where it's like, I, was he is he trying to transition to acting? I think so. Yeah. Right, but I'm looking like I ain't seen him in nothing since. <laughs> so it's like that didn't work. So now we're doing it again. It's like, well, what, what, what you doing, man? Uh, so like, one last I last they, they ride. probably came to like you know Van Diesel and some oh, people that was more popular. You know, that's like, the only thing they're missing is a, is a Fast and Furious <laughs> crossover. That's the only thing that. <laughs> What? They too old. It's like, well, well, I guess they getting up there too. But I'm I'm just saying it's like at this point, as ridiculous as, as both of these franchises are in different ways, like all they need now is to blend both of those together and just get it over with. I'm gonna tell you like this: Part two really made me mad because I went to the I was suspecting Part two to actually be good because I actually it, I actually kind of enjoyed the first one because it was like we said I didn't really I didn't take it that serious, but it was just like a. A, a wild action movie with all my favorite action heroes from, you know, back in the day. And then the second one, they was going to bend down, Chuck Norris. They started naming all these names. I'm like, oh, the first one was fun. That second one was just a purdy. It was a freaking <laughs> purdy. And they had people like Chuck Norris come in and say all his lines from every movie and then leave. I'm looking like, oh, no, okay, no, we're not doing this. I thought y'all was taking it Like, serious. he was literally Chuck Norris the meme. Yeah, yeah, he just come in like, yeah, I, I always work alone. And, and He even did the, uh, got bit by the snake, and after tw after five hours of agony, the snake finally died. <laughs> I can't even remember what, I just remember he just started quoting all his movies and then le and then left. And yeah. I was like, see, this is bull crap. So they're going to add a couple, uh, couple more characters or whatever. So they got 50 Cent is in <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know, right? Okay. Fifty Cent is not an action star, so I don't know what, what we're doing here. Uh, but I know he was cool with Stallone because he was in Escape oh, in Plan. My head, in my head, you know the only thing I can hear right now, right? What? What die trying? <laughs> I don't know what you just said. Uh, uh, but you 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 on par? How Fifty Cent? Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, it's gonna have a couple more characters like Fifty Cent. I think uh, I forget who else is gonna be in there. Oh, Andy Garcia. It's like, you okay. Know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing Andy's the bad guy. <laughs> ah, probably. <laughs> just, just a smart, right? Bad and guy. Um, the plot is going to be that <laughs> it's going to be a, a a nuclear war against Russia. <laughs> 
So of course we call us the oldest soldiers alive. <laughs> Burly. That, that's who we need. The oldest soldiers in existence. What's gonna kill Stallone? <laughs> not bullets. Clearly. Um, we thought time, but not that time. Ain't, that ain't happening. <laughs> For real, man. I can see I'll be okay with Stallone directing some serious stuff, but like, stop doing this, e- man. Even like his acting has gotten better, which yeah. is a weird thing to say. But like Stallone ain't never been bad. He's never been bad, but like I'm just saying he's but gotten, he done some slop. Yeah, but like his acting has gotten better over the years. Like uh, his acting in uh, Creed, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. You know, so it's like as he's left the action hero stuff behind, he's like leveled up in other areas. Look, Stallone can act, write, and direct. Yeah, when he takes the series, but sometimes he seems to embrace the bull crap and not in a good way. Yeah, maybe just in a cash out way or whatever. Mm. And it's like you. <clears throat> you actually better than this. I don't know why you're taking this, doing this paycheck, I guess. Well, like, because I think he's still of the mind. It's like, it's fun to make dumb action movies. So he's yeah. made a dumb action movie that he can make. Hey, I guess. And then it's a point <clears throat> why you keep putting yourself the star on it. You, you, you're getting up there. You get, yeah. you, you got the saggy skin. You got the, <laughs> you got all that, uh, I'm about to, <laughs> that I'm about to call it. <laughs> I would say you got all that uh, uh, plastic surgery to look younger, and this way said they look like an old Asian lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they was like, what a, what a, what a male actor get too much plastic surgery? That's Bro. what he looked like. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. So, um,. For real, yeah. stop it! Like, cause start directing, start pushing some I, of these younger I would even stars. Say, I would even say, I would love for him to make this a French, like an, an an expansive franchise. Just like if the Expendables is an organization, maybe he's the leader. But it's like got units all over the world. I, 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 I'm I'm I head the organization. I don't do no fighting. Yeah, I send people on missions. Right, but no, he got. He, he I got to jump the out the window. He got to no, be the guy. I'm jumping out the window. <laughs> 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 it's like let me let me drink my metal musical first. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like long, man. You're getting too old for this. Yeah. But anyway, um that's that, man. And I think oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got another piece of information for you. They're gonna have a uh, female versions of them, I guess, called the Expender Bells. Now I heard that, now I hope that's a joke. See how they laugh? I hope that's a joke. Because that sounds like the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. <laughs> So who exactly? I don't know. Would they I think I think that? that's not going to get past the. Like, that ain't going to get past the the, the the writing stage. They're going to be like, "This is stupid. We're not. Yeah. Gonna, we're not moving forward with this." Okay, so moving on. <clears throat> Spendable four. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. So moving on. Mission Impossible. Uh, not Mission Impossible. Sorry. Uh, Fast and Furious Ten. It's going to be called Fast X. And the director, Jeremy Lin, quit. Yes. So now they got to find a new director. Um, Um, I'm not surprised that he quit. I heard Van Diesel hard to work with and whatever. I don't know. Won't they let Van Diesel direct it? (laughs) Can it be worse? (laughs) You'd be surprised. (laughs) Um, But, you know, like, I I think Jeremy Lin has just had his fill of Van Diesel for one lifetime. And it is the point of they say anybody that they hire – is going to have to know that they can't be creative. Like, they can't um, they can't um, make it, like, make sense. It's got to yeah. be, you got to well, b- like, embrace the bullshit. Because you have that, <laughs> that that weird culture on set there where it's like, no, nah, no, nah, this doesn't make me look look tough enough. I know, and I bet you people tired of yeah. Van Diesel. Well, if you have to, it was like, okay, what we want to do is, if Van Diesel always want to be so cool, all twenty four seven. Yeah. When you got a director, it's like, okay, well, can I want to show a vulnerable side to? You know, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you the vulnerable side. I was smiling. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, come on, man. No, nah, there's that moment where I was on my knees. You screaming, are human, and then I punched through a steel door. I know. <laughs> that was vulnerability right there. You are human, right? <laughs> I think so, but. You know, I don't hey, know. Yo, I'm not human. I got fed. Yeah, right. I can't I even know. say that. Shit. <laughs> uh, but, you know. He should fight. He should. They should put him in Jurassic World. 
They uh, <laughs> they should fight dinosaurs. <laughs> so look, no, nah, I'm for that. I'm for that. The dinosaurs come out here. He just punched a dinosaur. Like this, comes in, does like a 360 drift but, uh, uh, in front of some donuts, steps out of the car, and then says some some dumb, tough guy shit, and then proceeds to throw hands with a dinosaur. The only thing I hate about this town, the damn dinosaurs. <laughs> nah, it, it'll be, a, it's like, damn dinosaurs always ruining traffic. Yeah. And then like just <laughs> squirt out that bugger and punch him. <laughs> Oh, Dude, man. What, look at this. Look at this. I'm not just like, maybe they're doing a video or something. It's like, dude, this dude literally put a, the practice looking hard. <laughs> this right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Van Diesel. What? What's up, shorty? This is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, they Short got, ass. they tell, I think they got this dude who directed uh, Transporter. So they was like, that's right up his alley, right? I mean, you would think. Transporter 3. <laughs> oh, I, I can't even remember. I can't remember three, dude. But hey, I think three was one with maybe the they should use Uber Bowl or somebody. <laughs> okay, there's no way anybody comes <laughs> off that set with their sanity intact if if it's like that because you just know those two would just be shouting over each other like just yeah. dumb idea after dumb. I'm about idea. to say, well, I mean, that's what he do. Dumb yeah. action movies. I mean, so like, by the end of it. Every, or bad video game movies. He, yeah. he excels at that. It's like <laughs> everybody else is gonna be at the premiere like what? And they're both gonna be like, Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Like But no, uh, um they got a new director. I think it's it's I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who directed um Transporter Three. So Okay. I mean, what I don't what we got what we got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna change nothing. I mean like, how you look, feel about it? Look, <laughs> let's just get it done with I know right? exactly. <laughs> Please, for the <laughs> love of God, I don't know why people keep on going to these movies. Why y'all giving them this power? Fast and Furious is the only franchise where the cartoon is more realistic than the Man, live action dude. movie. <laughs> it, I, I, the last movie, the last movie, I said they got nothing left. They've they got already been to space. Left. They've already been to space. They've been it's to over. space. Besides them going to space, it just. I saw nothing original in that in that last one, the Fast Nine. <clears throat> it was just like, oh, it's nothing. Y'all got nothing like they've, left. They've only got two sharks they left eat, to they jump. They peak at seven. They've only got two <laughs> sharks left to jump, and that's aliens and time travel. Yeah, they hit that peak at seven, my my opinion. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on. Um, so got some Marvel news. See, I got the Marvel in the background, but that's I just that's not why I had it. But anyway, <laughs> got some Marvel news. Uh, so Ant Man and the Marvel, the new Captain Marvel is not going to be called Captain Marvel. It's going to be the Marvels. Okay. Uh, they are changing dates for some reason. <laughs> look, I, I, I need you to act like you care. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm sorry. I'm finding it increasingly hard to get excited for Marvel stuff. I know. I swear, dude. Like one. Being consistently underwhelmed. I'm not going to say disappointed, just underwhelmed with almost every project that they've come out with. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and it's like I've been, I'm, you know, I'm still watching it, but I'm to a point where I'm willing to wait to get on streaming. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to go to the movies unless yeah. it's for a review. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, I don't, it's not like Ant Man and Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. Neat, both of those titles I'm not looking for. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't give a damn if you show that mug in December or February or March. I don't Whatever. care. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything I was invested in is done now. Yeah, exactly. So I blew my wide. <laughs> I blew my load and in game. <laughs> now I'm willing to do a little more foreplay. But right now it's like, uh, just get off me. Yeah. <laughs> Stop touching me. Stop touching me. I'm good. I'm good. Like. Because <laughs> honestly, at this point, it's just bad aftercare. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's happening is they're going to, um, uh, Ant-Man was, is going to come out earlier. Now, Ant-Man's going to come out in February. Okay. And the Marvel show, Miss the Marvel whatever, is going to come out in um, that summer. So I hmm. guess maybe they feel like they get more out of the Marvels. Yeah. That like, and if they're trying to stretch that out, I guess. Man, I'm telling you, man. They asking a lot of us. Uh, Marvel is asking a lot of his fans just to put up with stuff. Yeah. 
Uh, the Doctor Strange was cool, um, but I look, definitely would love to see. Um, I wanted to see the Lunar. Mo- I saw that his whole suit was. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. I love to see the. Uh, I, I mean, I was happy to see the Illuminati, but they <laughs> they pretty much just they cut their balls off since they showed. Them. It was like, though it's it's a two of the original cut was two hours and forty minutes, so it was it was more footage uh-huh. there. So I'm kind of making me more curious. Yeah. What you about to say? What? I'm sorry. Uh, I I was even gonna say like all of the good Illuminati stories can't really happen in the MCU, mm-hmm. right? Because it's like. You'd have stuff like Secret Wars. So alone, right, I heard they was lead, they leading up to Secret Wars. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's like all the really cool stuff there. It's like I don't know if you can so put that in the mainstream MCU. Do you think major. they Secret Wars? They're gonna be kind of like trying to be make it like Endgame. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. That, that's not. That's not an option. I I can see them trying, but that's not an option. And these new characters they pushing is like, I, like. <laughs> Because keep in mind, Endgame was like the callback of all callbacks. It's yeah. like, hey, remember when we told you about this? Remember when we showed you that? It's all coming back. You know, it's, but so it, it tied up almost a decade, right, mm-hmm. of, of content. So it's like you can't, you can't rush your way back to that, that level, but like, also, it ain't hit, the new stuff ain't hitting like the old stuff did. You know? Yeah. Like I so right, exactly. Like, and the characters they 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 trying to push are not that interested. It's like they yeah. cool, they cool on the on comic page maybe. But you trying to make us like you trying to sell Eternals and and uh um, don't nobody care about it. Man, I'm saying Shane Chi was cool, you know. Unless yeah. you do something else with him, he just there. It's just a quota that you know you want to get an Asian quota, um, but j- I mean, I would like to see if they do something more with them. But I feel like yeah, y'all just wanted to get a minority, yeah. um, so um, we'll see. And then we got stuff like part twos like Wakanda Forever. Like, without Chadwick Boseman, it's like yeah. now like, y'all just, I know, now y'all just trying our patience. Because I know C- the uh, Russo said the one thing they would come back for is Secret Wars. Mm, oh, so, so that is interesting if you're going to use them. I hope they say no, though. Yeah. Same. Because I feel like y'all so good that I don't like, don't force them into a I situation where they can where make they a can. Secret Wars movie. I don't know if Marvel is going to give them what they need to pull off a Secret Wars movie. They might because they'd be trying to get that in-game money. But the thing is, it's like, what are you going to do? Just repeat yourself? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you already did it. Just... Just, just let it be. Yeah. Uh, so the last bit of Marvel news is the Fantastic Four. So there's a couple things here. You know the director quit. Yeah. Um, what's his name? His name was John White, I think. Yeah. Uh, he quit for well, I forget whatever reason, and and we got um. So, I what I heard is uh, Bryce Dallas Howard might be directing. Now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have John Straczynski as Mr. Fantastic. Now, it was uh, rumored that it was gonna be Emily Blunt as the Visible Woman, but they saying that now this is not 100% confirmed. But what I'm hearing, Bryce Dallas Howard might take on the role as Miss Fantastic and direct. What do you think about that? Now. I'm not. She, ha- have you seen anything she directed? Well, no. she directed a couple episodes of Mandalorian. And okay, I I couldn't I couldn't point to her directing style, mm-hmm. so like I wouldn't know it was her. So I could I don't know. I can't say yeah or nay about her directing. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be John Zinski directing. That's what I thought because I love. Um, the quiet, uh, quiet, the quiet place, place yeah. one and two. Um, so I'm thinking like, okay, he proved himself. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she's proven herself as a movie director. She directed a couple episodes. She did a director episode of Boba Fett too, mm. which I'm like, uh, probably the power I, I episode. <laughs> I can't remember which episode it was. 
but I erased that shit. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, no, Boba Fett. No, I didn't I didn't do that. So. Boba Fett? That, no. that was a show. Right. Really? Never okay. heard of it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the thing about that. So I don't know. Um, but I, I don't quite like the idea of her as the but, invisible woman, but. Right. She don't fit. The, she don't really fit her. And, you know, I think I, don't, I think she I think she just had a kid recently or she got a couple kids. Mm. But she got that mama body. She definitely she thick now. <laughs> and, you know, but, but Sue ain't ain't really thick like that. But I mean, they can say, oh, this is the new version of like, Sue. If, if they want, they can even skip all the origin stuff and get she straight got to thighs, them. ass, get all that now. I mean, I like her. You know Everybody, what? Uh, put her in the suit. I'll date her. Put, look, put <laughs> her in the like, suit. She looked like the credible, Miss Incredible is her name. The put her in the suit. After she, uh, I, I after get she you. No, no, I, I get you. <laughs> put her in the suit. I mean, you know, she might uh, lose weight or something. No, 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 no. Put her in the no, suit no. right now. Uh, <laughs> it's without, her right now. <laughs> with all them hips and thighs, put her in the right. suit. I want to see it. I would like, uh, you know, I like that, but you know. I would like that to see That'd be it. distracting, though. Because I'm, if you get, if she thick like that, and, uh. I ain't gonna be looking at it. It could be backflips and spin kicks. I'm looking at that ass. <laughs> I mean, look, the the bulk of her action shots are just gonna be her tooching it out with her arms up. So, and then she get all visible. Like, whoa, bring her back. Bring her back. What the hell? <laughs> like, I mean, it's just like, because most of what she does is gonna be force fields, anyways. So, I guess. I don't know. Uh, my thing is, I just don't I see her as is, the character. Like I don't, yeah, I'm sh- like she, she might her, pull it off. Her look will be all right as a character, yeah. I guess. Like I mean, blonde woman. So you know. she a redhead though. Um, but my wonder, I wonder, could this be just a power move? We don't have no female directors. They had a female and a male director direct um, um, Captain Marvel. Yeah. <clears throat> But it was a duo. I don't. Re- I don't like remember. They, they always like they, yeah, they so. always direct. So, together, so, but this would be their first solo female director. Yeah. You know, so they got a black director. They got an Asian director. They ain't got their woman director yet. They solo woman director. So yeah, that might be a move. They'd be like, well, let's just try this. We'll see. I would rather John Sosinski directed. Yeah. Um, given what I seen, what he done with Quiet with that Quiet Place movie, I. Love his style. Well, like, I also think one of the things that's kind of been a little hard to tackle with the Fantastic Four movies that have been made thus far is the director's vision doesn't jibe with the the what's been written. Yeah. So, like, I feel like if you at least have someone who is on both sides of the camera, you can at least bridge that gap a little better. But yeah, I. I just don't know enough about Do- uh, Bryce Dallas Howard's uh, directing style to know if she's got it or not. Same here. Um, it is what it is. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't mess up Fantastic Four so much that you know what I'm saying. That yeah. I, what you got to lose? Between <laughs> Rise of the Silver Surfer and Fan Four Stick. Wow. I mean, we could even go to the the Roger Corbin. <laughs> or is, it, did, did, is, is that who did that? That, uh, the one from 1992. That sounds right. You know That's what I'm saying? A, I know um, the one you're talking about. Yeah. Um, they uh, they have not made a good live action version of that, and not to mention the one, the 2015 one. Yeah. Um, I mean, the best, the, you know what? The best look we've gotten at any one in the Fantastic Four is Reed Richards, the smartest man in the universe, being a dumbass. Actually, ass. you know what? We've been saying that wrong. It's uh, the smartest man alive. <laughs> oh, oh that's so I went back and checked it out. <laughs> Reed Richards, the, the he smartest. Said, he said man the alive. smartest man alive. Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. So that's his. That's his moniker. <laughs> well, Even worse. <laughs> well, look, you go, not anymore. <laughs> look, let, let me see that runner up because he ain't alive no more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on, man. Uh, Mission Impossible Seven. Yeah. Uh, why you say it like that? <laughs> Tom Cruise. It's gonna be a part one and part two. Uh, I'll be like, franchise. dude, Dead Reckoning. That's gonna be the title. I um, like that title. They got a, t- they got a, a what's the name of it made? They got a trailer made. Uh, of course, CinemaCon. They get to see everything. They already showed it. They said it was amazing. It looked amazing. And the way he was getting after that one dude, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it better be good. The way he was going off on one uh, boy, yeah. uh, and for not wearing his mask, <laughs> like. 
Where what was like there was some movie like someone said like Tom Cruise showed up, he just fired started firing people. But look, check this out. This is gonna be a plot point. So that guy here from the original, yeah. uh, Kittredge, was the that was in the first movie. Uh, his boss in the first movie. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be in this movie. And I was like, are you gonna bring him back? Like people gonna know who he is? <laughs> he's not that. He's not that much of a popular. He's a character actor, mm-hmm. and so people might know if they see him, but they not and. and this is back in uh, 96, yeah. so obviously he's going to look a lot older. So they're going to bring back dude from the first movie, like, yeah, y'all remember him? Like, we supposed to be like, oh, it's <laughs> like it's the dude it's from that, the first it's, movie. It's that Who one cares? guy. You um, didn't bring him back from no other movies. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. Like, are they bringing him back in a substantial role, or is he just... I'm guessing they said in the trailer, uh, they showed him talking to him, like... Um, I guess something going on where he need to get um, one of the old IMF uh, people to for, for something. Right. So point okay. is, they've been doing they be doing this in these movies where they kind of go back and get somebody from you know from the first movie to see if, if they're so everybody can be like, oh wow, you know it's him, you know. Yeah. Uh, but that 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 character. And the actor is nowhere near popular enough yeah. for anyone to care. Like, I'm a big no disrespect to the actor. He's a good actor. Right. But he's a character actor. Like, And I'm a big <laughs> fan of character actors, but like, th- it's always going to be, oh, that guy. It's like, Yeah, yeah. Dude, I can't tell you his name. Yeah. I just remember he was in the first movie as his boss. Like, He was that guy in the movie doing the thing. But like, right. you, you're never going to remember and, his and name. And he just said the line, um, you know, hello, Mr. Phelps. You yeah, know, that's it. But other than that, it's just, it's just a dude. You yeah. know, come on, man. Like that, and let's be real. Mission Impossible at this point exists just because Tom Cruise needs to be an action hero. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a franchise that makes money, a lot of yeah. money. But the thing is, <laughs> it's it's his ego. Yeah, because he turned it all about him. Mission Impossible always was about the team. Like, cause there's there's a thing like folks get kind of a bit of. Uh, they put him on a bit of a pedestal because of his insistence on doing all of his own stunts and doing so much stuff like as real as possible. I'm like, yeah, but every time he does that, he's jeopardizing somebody's job. Yeah, I mean that's his thing. I mean it, it's fun. It's it's just a little, it's just a, a little above Fast and Furious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, Maybe it's, that's what he's going for. But. It's, it's it's close, but yeah. it's, it's a little above Fast and Furious. I yeah. give that, but it's you know it's like I really wish they bring some more characters in here and focus on a team of cool spies yeah. instead of just Ethan Hunt. Instead of Ethan Hunt stunt reel, yeah. that's all we got. Like even his people don't end up contributing that much to his missions. Yeah, they, like, they did a little bit in Ghost Protocol, yeah. and then he was like, eh, "That's too much. I'll do it." <laughs> dial that dial, dial that right back. It's like, damn, you won't let them do anything. Ethan Hunt always got to go in. Yeah. But anyway. My, like, my boy Vink Rames doesn't they get to they do They don't let nothing. him do nothing. They don't All let he can him do, do is nothing. sit on a, uh, and talk, uh, talk shit on the radio. He, he, he's he's <laughs> this close to being a mystical Negro. Yeah, he pretty much is. <laughs> like, he, like, now, Ethan, what you got to remember is. Yeah, right, right. He give him advice <laughs> and talk about, yeah, my Versace. They will watch I got my shoes got to be clean, you know. <laughs> it's like okay, man. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's that's that's the Mission Impossible. Man. It's I I look forward to it a little bit because it's, it's still fun, but the plot is like, come on, it's, who cares? Uh, so push on. We got a uh, John Wick spinoffs. Yeah, they got the, a couple uh, of them. Continental, so know, Continental, and Ballerina. Yeah. Now, if you remember, um, the and they showed in the third one, I guess, yeah. there was an old lady that had all these ballerinas. Yeah. That was the lady who trained John Wick. Mm-hmm. But all her, so they are assassins, too. Yeah. So it's going to be kind of like, you know, their story. That, uh, that was Angelica Huston. Uh, Angelica Houston. Houston, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm Mortician. thinking like, um, <clears throat> dude, was this in three? <laughs> they fucking him up. Dog. That was just before he got to zero. Yeah, he had to fight through all, through his students. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so she's in. Yeah, the, she's uh, gonna be in ballerina. The girl that was in uh, James Bond and uh, the Armist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. 
we'll see. Um, but I mean, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be good, I think, as far as action wise. Yeah. And also the uh, remember this way he threw all them knives <laughs> in it <that> too. <laughs> and um, what's the name of that? Um, the Continental. Mm. So I'm, I'm I'm guessing maybe it's gonna be like an anthology of different I'm hoping assassins, so. which would be kind of cool because I do get much I love John Wick, I am getting burnt out on seeing yeah. him kill people. Every yeah. Because <laughs> well, one of the things that I, when I went back and rewatched the uh, first one recently was like you get a glimpse at all of these interesting people. Uh-huh. It's like, so they're all like super badass. Yeah. And we'll never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really love this. My second one is like my favorite one. Yeah. Third one's real good too, but the second one is like got me. Yeah. Uh, the first one I was kind of like, eh, it's cool. See, I I was one of the people, everybody was like, John Wick is good. I'm like, it's just an action movie. But, um, I, I feel like I just didn't get it. And the second one, I got it. <laughs> it's like, is this what y'all been talking about? Yeah. Type thing. yeah. Um, but, you know, because, like, I remember when I first saw that first one, it was very much a, uh, like, finally someone's making the action movies that I got into. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like that, like, there was a brief window in the late 90s, early 2000s where it's like, no, no, this this computer stuff is great. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> you already know how yeah, I feel. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of CGI. Like, the computer stuff is great, but have you seen a car crash? I think I am going to go on a uh, <laughs> no CGI uh, crusade. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's like no CGI. So no CGI. <laughs> actually, funny enough, there's a video I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you after we we cut, but uh, uh, a video rendered in Unreal in Unreal Five. Mm-hmm. It does not look CG. Okay. And if they use that to, to if they start using that to render stuff, I will have no more complaints. I'll give you an example of who can blend CG and practical so well. Mm. Zack. Zack Snyder. But, but they don't like Zack. <laughs> I don't care what they like. I'm telling you, <laughs> if you could do uh, the job. Now, mocaps, mocaps are working real good. Mm. Um, for CG, no. Um, I believe that um, part of it is because they're trying to sell a, a commercial. Like it's like a commercial. Mm-hmm. They're trying to sell their their software, and they, um, you know, for, and they just put it in this movie or whatever. Yeah. So sometimes when we say, like, "Why they do that? They don't even look good." Oh, because they're showing it off to sell to investors. Yeah, that's all they was. Yeah, <clears throat> they don't care about the artistic integrity. Okay. <laughs> they don't care about what we think. <laughs> um, like sometimes they just decide on on a studio. It's like they're the ones who's going to do the CD. They've never done it before, though. Yeah, but they're the ones we have a deal with. Right, exactly. It's it's all about money at the end yeah. of the day. All right, so um, uh, we're going. Uh, they got a, another quiet one, quiet place movie coming really? out. Really? Yeah, uh, this is called Quiet Place Day One. So is um, this a prequel or a side story? I believe story? it's a prequel. Which I don't really like this idea because I feel like they kind of covered that in the part two. Yeah. You know, where they was just out, you know, um, they was just out living and then the the creatures started attack. They had no idea the creatures were coming. So that was day one. We we found, like, we were there for it. We we witnessed that organically. Now, if this is a side story, like, it's so... From someone else's point I of think, view, right, right. I think I believe it's going to be more in depth. What happened, rather than creatures. jumping around? Yeah, which I, I, I wish they. I kind of like what they I, did. I don't originally. really need that because right. you, you get all of the feeling of like the creeping terror of ha- trying to figure this stuff out and trying to figure out what the rules are and all that. I don't know that you need the classical timeline on that one. Yeah. So. Well, it's day one, so perhaps it'll be from somebody else's point of view um, that had to um, fight the the creatures off or whatever. I, I'm, it is kind of curious. How did y'all lose the whole... Did they lose the whole planet to these <laughs> Like, is everybody in hiding? Pretty much. And it, it, now, it, I, I, they, they showed that they, okay, they got armor, but sound makes that armor kind of mess up and you yeah. can shoot them or whatever. And I feel like, okay, these things look formidable, but they can get got. 
yeah. especially how they did them in part two, which I they you know they had the, the girl just uh, fighting them with the little pole, and I'm looking like if you can kill them like that, then how the hell we lose the planet? We got tanks. <laughs> I mean, not for nothing. We also do have sonic weapons, right? I know that easy. Yeah, well, you can just to. But uh, like, I think it's one of those a things. PA like, system will, will take them out. Yeah, <laughs> but like I think in the way they they played it in the movies is like everyone was so busy trying to hit this threat straight up that anyone who would have been in a position to notice, oh damn, if we fuck them up with the sound, we got them. It just seems like pretty simple. They don't have. They don't seem to have a rhyme or reason. They just attack sound. Yeah. Uh, easy to lure them into traps. They don't see booby trap. They don't see, you know what I'm saying? They don't have, they, they they don't have that much intelligence. They don't have right. genre awareness. <laughs> 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 well, all I'm saying is you, you just make a sound, and then you, you trap them in somewhere, and well, you turn you know that what? shit there, on. There is the bit where in their little bunker there uh, in the first one where it looks like they tried to do that in, in the things that, hold on. Figured it out. Yeah, it's uh, like I didn't see that. I just see if they heard something, they just run in. What the hell is that? What's that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I just didn't see that. I'm like, because well, they are competent predators. Put so. um, just trap into a a, a, a furnace, um, a crematorium, and just turn. <laughs> and as soon as they come in there, Roast. right, turn that bitch yeah. on. Next. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, that is our movie news. Uh, we'll have some more news. Um, Next week, and we'll see what's going on with Marvel and with the other other stuff we got going on and DC and whatever. So, um, oh, although it is a little DC news, I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, they're replacing uh, Ezra Miller with Dylan O'Brien. That, that's what I've been hearing is that he's on the list. Uh, okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that's confirmed. Well, like, because especially now, it's like it, the man can't stop getting arrested. Yeah, I heard so, he got in trouble for something. I don't know. Like, he keeps getting arrested. It's like, well, okay, damn, you just got rid of somebody that like, was. <laughs> charges get dropped. He settles this out of court. And then he goes. You talking about Dylan O'Brien? No. Oh, you talking about Ezra. Ezra. Oh, no, he's out of there. Yeah. Uh, like, but I'm talking so, about Dylan O'Brien. Uh, like, I was being a replacement. Like, I. Uh, uh, right, I mean, it's. <laughs> at this point. It's like apples to oranges. Yeah. Again. It's like. I mean, he fit the. I guess he fit the. the the profile, so like, <laughs> if that's if they're still going for that, I like it's a the, black guy. <laughs> if they're still going for that, the character as written, then he's a fine plug in. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so I mean, at this point, it is like they just want to get the shit done. Yeah. <laughs> they they take anybody. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, man, that's some movie news. We're gonna be out of here. Thanks for checking out the video. If anybody's still watching, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get alerts. In time, we post new videos or we live stream. And if you like what you've seen here today, hit that thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that we're making stuff that people want to see. And feel free to drop a comment down below if you have any thoughts on what you saw here today. Yes, we out here, y'all. Yeah. Peace.